What's going on? Are we poor? No. While other daddy looks for a job, I'm going to be taking on some work as a summertime driver's ed teacher. How much can that pay? Every little bit helps. And besides, Mitchell, before you know it, you're going to be back in a stuffy office with some stuffy lawyers wishing you had taken advantage of this time. Am I right? Well, that doesn't not sound like me. Exactly. So why don't you take this chance to do something fun, find a hobby? You know, every time we go to a gallery, you always say, I could paint something that stupid. Well, prove it. You know what? I have. I've always wanted to paint. And the place upstairs is going to be a rental gold mine. Once we paint it, we furnish it, we fix the electric, redo the plumbing, and figure out why that brown spot won't stop growing. It's growing? Mitchell, are you aware our daughter's eating a ketchup sandwich? Good, she found something. Oh, so you didn't go grocery shopping today. I am going to go but after yoga. Hey, hey, you should come with me, because you seem really tense. Oh, well, maybe to have a five-minute class, I could sneak in between football camp and driver's ed. <laughs> No, I'm very proud of you and your grapefruit. Chrysler building. Mitchell really embraced this whole take a little break thing far more than I expected. But for years, he supported both of us while I pursued my passions. Photography, hip hop dancing, fox hunting. So I couldn't be the one to tell him to get a job. But maybe somebody else could. Hey, Charlie. It's uh, Cameron. My husband Mitchell used to work for you. Oh, I remember you. Yeah, what a nice surprise. I know, crazy. <laughs> crazy like that fox I told Mitchell was chicken. <laughs> was it clear I, I stalked Charlie? I can't believe it. Mitchell and I were just talking about you last night. How are you? Well, I don't want to burden you with my problems. Uh, I think I've outgrown my boat. Oh. Hey, how is Mitchell? He's fine. We, actually, he's fielding a few job offers right now, and he's running into problems because he keeps comparing everyone to you. Right. But sometimes, I think the only thing that's going to make him feel better is if you offered him another job. What the hell? I'll do it. Really? Yeah. I'm getting a new boat. Oh. And I will talk to Mitchell. I missed that $3 bill. All right. Who's ready for my famous chicken salad? Oh, thank you. We need the foil back. Right. Oh, what happened to your ear, Van Gogh? Oh, I was painting sunflowers outside and I got stung by a bee. You know, I take it as a compliment. From the bee community? Oh my goodness, Claire, that's one of mine. Yes, Oh, it that is. looks so good there. Right? I just love all the colors. It makes me feel so happy. Yeah. I call it rape of the immigrant. I think we left the brownies in the car. Oh, I'll get those. Well, way to go, pal. Yeah. 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 Way to go. Yeah. Be pretty. OK, what is wrong with you people? I'm dying here trying to hold down two jobs while you enable a once proud man who is clearly having a talent-free breakdown. You know why he reminds you of Van Gogh? Because he's earning nothing, and he's losing his mind. <laughs>